Hi, welcome to part three of plan production sheets. In my last uh, previous videos, we created view frames, which uh, laid out the extents of where my viewports will be created in my sheets. And in part two, we created the uh, corresponding layouts for, uh, or sorry, profiles for those uh, viewports in plan view. And the sheets were created, and you can see I have a bunch, uh, six new sheets along the bottom. So sheet one, how this works is my alignment uh, start station is 6226 and the software will automatically generate the uh, beginning station at 6226 and keep working its way down so, but you can see here that my profile view is cut off at the bottom so here you have a couple of choices uh, you can sometimes I'll double click inside that viewport and uh, unlock it down at the bottom and just move it up slightly okay I don't want to shift it over to the left or right otherwise it won't be aligned with the top viewport uh, your other option is if you're running out of room and you got some room on the space up at the top you can select that viewport uh, and just kinda squeeze it up a little bit higher and then oh. correspondingly pick the top viewport and uh, kinda stretch it down there so that it's out of the way and that'll give you some extra room. So now we can see our, our stationing along the bottom and our elevations along the side. And you want to move through these sheets to take a look at them and uh, see how they're all lined up. So this one here again needs a little bit of help. I'm going to either stretch this down or up to try and help me uh, be able to see those station views. And now I can see it. That was all it needed. But uh, sometimes you'll get into sheets where you have to uh, tweak the minimum and maximum elevations like for instance this one here seems to be cut off uh, a bit and if I take a look at that corresponding uh, profile in my plan view which is this one here sometimes I can change the scale of it uh, it looks like my profile goes from the top to the bottom this one however you can see I have a bunch of wasted space up at the top so for that last sheet I'll take a look at it. Uh, this is another example here. You can see that there's all this wasted space along the top. So at this portion of the alignment, the uh, terrain is very flat. There's not a lot of difference, but the software will generate these large uh, empty spaces. But you can change these up by just selecting the profile, and you can do this in, pl in uh, layout or in the model space. But I just went into my viewport. I selected my profile view, and I right-clicked and I went into profile view properties here you can do things like if I turn off the split profile I can tell it well I don't want it to go from 647 to 764 I have all that space I may say I only want it to go to 680 and then say apply and say OK and if that's still too far I can tweak that up so there you'll see that that's taken away a lot of that extra uh, grid space and now I can unlock my uh, viewport and, and move this straight up. Now you can see that I'm shifting this around. So what I want to do is uh, sometimes I'll just draw a line straight up. To make sure my ortho's on. It's just a construction line. And then what I'll do is I'll take uh, my profile and I'll move it from bottom to top. So I'll go from endpoint to say nearest of the line and just move it center it in there and then when it's center just delete that line and lock the viewport again but I want to make sure that this portion of the alignment all lines up so the end point of my alignment should line up if I draw a line straight down I'm just gonna snap a line up at the end point uh, in layout just to make sure that I'm still in line. So I turn my ortho on and that should line right up there. Perfect. Okay, and that way everybody will be able to uh, cross-reference your profile data with your plan at the top. You'll also see that in your profile uh, or in your plan view you have uh, some of this empty black space. This is just a match line style so you can go into your settings uh, tab and take a look at your uh, match line 
frame styles and change that up to turn that hatch pattern off if you like. And that's it for plan profile production. Uh, one last thing, to publish this stuff, you can either publish it one at a time by selecting the sheets at the bottom. So you can select all the sheets and hold in your shift key and select all the sheets at once and right click and go publish selected layouts. But you'll notice that your sheet set manager has all those sheets listed in it as well. And if you turn this off, you can always get it back by selecting this drop down arrow and going uh, sheet set manager and that will bring up this little button here on your tool on your quick access toolbar and you'll be able to see that so to publish from the sheet set manager it's much easier I just right click on the sheet set go publish and I will publish to DWF or DWFX DWFX is a newer version and uh, it'll ask me for my DWX file I'll go select and it will publish a single uh, plot file for my DWF file and like I said the other option was plotting from the sheets and I think this is a good time to end the video as it just crashed alright have a great day bye now